Hi everyone, this is me in my study on the something day of being locked down in the coronavirus crisis epidemic. And it's a time when we're kind of hearing more and more about people being seriously ill and even dying. Don't want to sound morbid, but you know, we might end up being among those. And I was just kind of thinking, because I think a lot about uh, the end of life and end of life things at the moment, that it might be nice to make some videos of me so that uh, <laughs> people who love me, if there are any people who love me, I know there are loads, uh, would have some way of remembering me. And then I thought, well, what am I actually going to say when I record these things? Um, and I thought actually reading some of my favourite poems might be something that people would like to see. So this is the first one that I'm doing, and it's a poem by one of my favourite poets, R.S. Thomas, a Welsh priest and poet, a miserable old so-and-so some of the time. <laughs> but he often had very profound and lovely things to say about God, who both fascinates and whom we love, but hides himself from us as well. This is called The Empty Church, and I it resonated with me because of all of those years when I used to go into St Nicholas Church in Marston to say morning or evening prayer, often on my own. The empty church. They laid this stone trap for him, enticing him with candles, as though he would come like some huge moth out of the darkness to beat there. Ah, he had burned himself before in the human flame, and escaped, leaving the reason torn. He will not come any more to our lure. Why then do I kneel still, striking my prayers on a stone heart? Is it in hope one of them will ignite yet and throw on its illumined walls the shadow of someone greater than I can understand? 